morning. It's Wednesday, June 23rd, and today I'm going to talk about the 45th President of the United States, because once again, he has done something or is about to do something that is unconscionable. Donald is going to start his summer with a tour, a tour of revenge, revenge against representatives who had the nerve to vote to impeach him. He's going to go on a tour starting on, on June 26th to campaign in favor of Max Miller, who is a former Trump administration official and a campaign aide who is challenging the incumbent GOP representative, Anthony Gonzalez. Now, Trump is not campaigning against Gonzalez because Gonzalez has done a poor job as a representative in his area of Ohio. He is campaigning against Representative Anthony Gonzalez because Gonzalez had the nerve, the courage to vote for Donald Trump's impeachment. Now I ask you, is that what former presidents are supposed to do? Are they supposed to go on campaign trails against those who may have done something that they disagree with? I think not. I can't remember a president who openly went on campaign trail to attack some former adversary or some former employee of his who did something wrong or something that he disagreed with. This is not the action of a former president. And this just goes to prove to us all that Donald Trump was not a president for the people. Donald Trump was a president for Donald Trump. Whatever he did in the White House was not for the American people. And I agree with a couple of the things that he did, but he didn't do them correctly. He didn't do them the right way, the correct diplomatic way. And he only judged them when he saw a benefit to himself or his family. Now, Gonzalez is seeking his second term. Well, maybe he didn't do so good in his first term. Well, maybe he did. But he voted for impeachment. And that is an evil deed. And this is the first of Donald Trump's events, his rallies. He's not looking at any people for their qualifications to do the job. Now, this is the first route. He and his aides have been planning this for weeks. And the second rally is going to take place on the eve of July 4th. That's appropriate, huh? on the eve of the holiday. And he's also looking to plan at other rallies in Alabama and in Georgia. Now, Trump has supported... Representative Mo Brooks in the GOP primary to replace Alabama retiring Senator Richard Selby and is actively searching for a primary challenger to take on Governor Brian Kemp. Now, Brian Kemp drew Trump's anger after refusing to indulge his false claims about widespread voter fraud in the state of Georgia. So this attack on people who stood up and tried to do what was right, at least in their minds, they felt it was right. None of these attacks on Trump's were personal. They were based upon the fact based upon his actions on January 6th and on other occasions. So Trump is going to go around the country on a revenge tour, and he's going to try and oust as many of those who he considered his enemies, who he considers his enemies, 
candidates while he continues to support candidates in open races who have embraced his lies about the 2020 election. So on June 26th, we'll see what happens in Ohio, Cleveland. But this is not a good sign for the nation. It's all about a man who cares about nothing but himself and has 75 million people backing him. And that's a disgrace. Now, this is what Trump is consumed with, defeating those who voted to impeach him. And whether or not these people are doing a good job for the country is immaterial, as I said before. And Trump has hinted that he will attempt to be a candidate in 2024. But he hasn't committed to doing that. He hasn't committed to taking on Mr. Biden again. I don't know how many of you out there are shocked by this admission. I think it takes a lot of balls to admit that you're going after all these people simply because they voted against you and voted to have you impeached. Is that the kind of man we want to run for the presidency again? That the kind of man should even consider being of service to this country. A man full of hate and revenge who only sees one side of the coin. And coin is appropriate because that's all he lives for, making a buck. Think of all the money he got in contributions when he was trying to overthrow the election. And where is that money sitting? Sitting in there waiting for him to do something with it. Terrible situation. I hope that we, the government of the United States, is not paying for this outrageous tour. And it's a shame if the money that he collected for his so-called defense of the false election is being used for him to go around the country and attack people. So I ask you to think about this. Think about all the people who follow him. Think about all the misguided souls we have in this country. Think about all the hatred and the racism and the anti-Semitism that's going on. And if I have to, I have to point the finger at Donald Trump for encouraging the activities of the white supremacists and the extremists who never called them out. He never, ever called them out. He wanted to rally a rally of revenge. He should go around the country trying to make peace instead of going around the country to support people who I am sure he has no clue about their real qualifications. I am sure that he has not done the research. So in any event, that's the way I feel about it. And I think it's a disgrace that anyone would even admit that they are on a revenge tour. So I leave you with that this morning. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.